In this code sample, we define the controller coupons. We also define a new model. Within the models folder, you can find coupons underscore model file where we define the class coupons underscore model as a class that extends CI underscore model. Here, inside the constructor, we initialize the database so it would be available for us. Here, we define a function, its name is getCoupons. But this time, we also um, include a parameter, its name is $ID. So, if getCoupons is invoked and nothing is passed over, then this part of the function will be executed. And here you can find that getCoupons simply returns um, an object, object that describes all coupons. Or to be more precise, in this case, getCoupons returns an array that holds all data within the coupons folder. If getCoupons is invoked and something is passed over to $ID, then this part of the function will be executed. And here we can see an invocation for the get underscore where function that a part of passing over the name of a table, we also pass over an array that specify what we want. In this case, we want to get just uh, the data of the very specific coupon. Its ID is passed over as the value of ID key. In the array, we pass over as a second argument to get where. In this case, we shall return back an array of data that describes a specific coupon, a specific row, row in the coupons table. Here, in the coupons controller, you can find the view action with an optional parameter. So, if we try to refer coupons controller view action and we don't pass anything, then we, we get all data of all coupons. But if we pass over a specific ID of a specific coupon, then we get the data of the very specific coupon its ID was passed over. How does it work? Well, the request arrives to the index.php that forwards it to the coupons controller because here we specify coupons. Since we specify view, the view function is invoked. Since we pass over another value, that other value is passed over to view. So $ID won't be false. And here, when invoking get underscore coupons on the coupons underscore model object, the very same ID that was passed over here is passed over to the get coupons function. And get coupons function now returns an array that describes a specific coupon. That array is returned and is assigned as the value of the key coupons in the array dollar data. Dollar data is the array through which data is passed over from the controller to the view. In this case, we are dealing with uh, the index.php file within coupons folder. This output is the result of this code.